It's a very good evening to everyone. Yeah, it's a very good evening to everyone that is uh, tuning to this particular that is a podcast station that is a daily fix. Uh, I'm so glad to be having my brother, that is uh, Uncle Ram, uh, the uncle of all nations, not forgetting my brother, that is uh, Frank Roger Nachibuga. We are representing live in Ebi right now at Low Ground Stadium, where there's a lot of uh, entertainment taking on place. Uh, there is a game taking on place, but now it's still a half-time uh, between, that is a team, uh, Navy Central, that is going to be playing, uh, that, is a, uh, that is a regional league, uh, that, with, that is Ondo Paraka who is playing in Ugandan Premier League. Uh, I want to get the anticipation and all the, the predictions and everything with my brothers here. That is uh, Uncle Ram and that is my brother. That is uh, Frank Roger Nachibuga. I'm starting with my brother. That is uh, Frank Roger Nachibuga. How do you think this game is going to end? We have seen in the first half, maybe Central, at the lead of 2-1. 2-1 again, is that is Paraka. Yeah, this is a tough game because when you look at the two teams which are coming, these teams have been playing the, the top light league. Talk about Ondoparaka. We have the likes of Rashid Okosha plus a couple of interesting players. We have uh, John Rogers in the team plus uh, interesting and also the attack teacher and that is uh, Aaron Amawa in the team. And when you talk about Nebi Central, they have got an interesting player. You talk about Kiria whom they, who have come in uh, and also Siraj. You have Dante plus other interesting player, uh, the guy who have managed to score a brace there in the shape of one man. That is uh, Okel Oyo. That so, sounds so interesting, but it's going to be a test game because when you look at, uh, at the first half, had it not be, be, been because of the rain, the downpour, I think uh, uh, the team uh, uh, that is uh, Ondoparaka and Nebi Central, they will have uh, stable uh, very well, given the fact that I think the second half is going to be a tense encounter come second half. Uh, my brother, that is, uh, 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 that is uh, Ramsey, the uncle of all nations. Uh, how do you feel at the low grounds, very intimidating ground, where any visitor that come here is not so easy for him to get the win again as that is a uh, team uh, Navy Central? According to me, I think uh, team Navy Central, they are good to go and they can still go back to the, that is, uh, the playoff or they can be the ladder. Because uh, as far as uh, regional league is concerned this time around, we understand both of us as point is that uh, when you become the ladder you just go straight to that is a regional league uh, but then when you finish a uh, uh, second that's when you you go for the playoff how do you think uh, uh the, the, the the team that is uh, playing in uganda premier league are going to get the better of team navy central despite the factor right now navy central is leading by two goals to one uh, well said at tmt when you talk about the team in Anduparak and of course the team in the shape of a navy central these are non team in west nile and of course i talk about the record level in between the two teams Anduparaka is in their history, they've never managed to beat a team in Navy Central, whether a league game or a preseason game, whether a friendly. On the has been getting a hard time against Navy Central, but I must, I must tell you this: when you follow how Navy Central has been playing their game lately at the backyard in a low grounds, always the intensity from the fans. Many fans are chanting the names of a team Navy Central. That tells you clearly the team is actually good to go. And of course, playing this is a regional league side who is playing against a Uganda Premier League side in Onduparaka. It is always going to be intense. But again, the game of today. I think the worry is all about the weather, of course. When you see the, the surface they're playing in, it's a little bit slippery. That's why you can't see the beauty of game between the two teams. But had it been maybe the playground was very okay, it would be good. But again, talking on the side of Onduparaka, I think they have section of good players. And of course, uh, two new key players are coming in from the western side of the world in Africa. That is uh, the guys from Nigeria. Those two guys are doing so, so well. And of course, our coach has been playing for Navy Central for quite some time. He knows the ground and he knows the level of intensity at this home. But all I can say, it's a good game to watch. But again, one, two in there. It was a half time. Two quick goals are from Okelo Elio, the master of Team Navy Central. And one are coming in from the counterpart of Onduparaka. Not so bad. The game is still moving on well. Yeah, it's not so bad. The game is still moving on well. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are trying to follow us on Daily Fix Footcards. I think uh, time is not our best ally because the referee, we are coming back for the second half. Before we go for the second half, I want to get the prediction from my uh, best brother, Zia, fellow pony. That is uh, Frank Rajanachipuka. How do you think this game is going to end? I think it might end 3 2 in inside of Navy Central. 3 2. 3 2 inside side of Navy Central. Uh, Navy Central winning again is a uh, guy who are playing in Ugandan Premier League. What about you, my brother? That is uh, Ramsey, the uncle of all nations. Uh, don't be surprised if you see a very many goals coming in the second half. I'm seeing Navy Central getting another two goals in the second half. That is making it into four. And I also feel on Duparaka will be able to get another two goals. And I'm seeing something like a 4 3 in favor of Navy Central. 
uh, 4-3 in favor of Navy Central. But me, I think uh, this game is going to stand as a 2 to all draw because all players have a lot of pedigree. We shall get back to you when the game is done and dusted. That has been TMC Maltas alongside that is uh, Frank Roger Nachibuga. Not forgetting my brother, that is uh, Uncle Ram of All Nation. Behind the mark is my brother, that is the mass man. Not forgetting uh, Derek from uh, that is a uh, shield currency.